Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. This is the first episode in our series, Who is Jesus Christ? I feel the best way to start it off is by looking at a topic that we are probably all familiar with, which is how Jesus Christ is the Lamb of God. So, there are many, many, many verses all over the New Testament that refer to Jesus Christ as the Lamb of God. A prominent one is in John chapter 1, verse 29, where John the Baptist, upon seeing Jesus Christ, said, Behold, the Lamb of God, which taketh away the sin of the world. But why is Jesus Christ called the Lamb of God exactly? Why is Jesus, to start, associated with an animal? Well, if you look at... At the Old Testament, you'll see that God set up a system of animal sacrifices with his people, the Israelites at the time, where basically they would offer different animals, sometimes goats, rams, bulls, and, and other animals, as like atonement. There was a special day called the Day of Atonement, which was in the Jewish calendar, the 10th day of the seventh month. And on that day, there were certain animals that would be offered in a special way to atone for the sins of the high priest, who was the only one qualified to make that offering. And for the entire nation of Israel it was the only time where all the people would be purified for their sins at one particular time. So if you read Leviticus chapter 16, verses 1 to 34, you'll find all the details to that. The reason why God had introduced the animal sacrifices was to spread the awareness that we as human beings are actually not entirely clean or perfect or holy. Because if you look at what happened in Genesis chapter 3, verses 1 to 6, you see that previously in chapter 2, verses 16 and 17, God had commanded Adam that... There's a law, right? If you eat this forbidden fruit, which I said you shouldn't eat, you will surely die. In other words, this is an offense. If you commit this offense, you're worthy of death. In Genesis chapter 3, verses 1 to 6, Adam and Eve went ahead to go commit the sin. As a result, humanity as a whole, which was just Adam and Eve at the time, was now subjected to death. And even after Adam and Eve had children... All of humanity till today is subject to what God had pronounced on Adam and Eve in Genesis chapter 3 verses 16 to 19. So we became sinful as Paul had said in Romans chapter 3 verse 23. For all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. Now how each and every single one of us has sinned is honestly worth another video honestly. But in essence it's not the physical things we do from day to day. It's like, oh, I've sinned. Or no, it's talking about, it's beyond that. It's like we're born from an unclean source. As Job said, can a clean thing come out of an unclean? Not one. If you read Job chapter 14, verse 4. So it's based on that idea. And as a result, because we are not clean, because we're not perfect, things now had to be offered to atone or stand in the place of that it's a it's a form of justice in a way but the thing is animals couldn't really do the job which is why animals had to continue to be offered every year on and on and on as it was said in hebrews chapter 10 verse 4 it is not possible that the blood of bulls and goats can take away sins. It was simply a symbolic thing to teach us the importance of blood to start off because as Leviticus chapter 17 verse 11 says, it is the blood that makes the atonement for the soul because the life of the flesh is in the blood. And that was why in, in Hebrews chapter 9 verse 22, it also said that almost all things are by the law purged with blood and without shedding of blood is no remission. But the real atonement which brings Jesus Christ into the picture, is when he, the Son of God, actually died. Because Jesus was a sinless person. He did not commit that offense that Adam and Eve committed. Even when Satan tempted him in Matthew chapter 4, he overcame it and stood in righteousness till his death. So he was perfect. And when he was killed by the Pharisees and other wicked men, God, in his infinite love and mercy, turned that into an atonement. As we see in Romans chapter 5 verse 8, that because of the love of God, while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. 
And Jesus himself testified to the fact that one of the main reasons for which he came to earth in human form was for the purpose of being a ransom for humanity. He said, even as the Son of Man came not to be ministered unto, but to minister and to give his life a ransom for many. So it's based on all this that Jesus Christ is considered to be the Lamb of God. In summary, the reason behind it is that we as human beings are not perfect as a result of the fact that our ancestors committed a sin that we inherited from them. Which is why even David said, Behold, I was shapen in iniquity, and in sin did my mother conceive me. And the blood of animals cannot atone for that because we as humans, we're not the same as animals, right? We're a little bit higher. So a human being had to die to take the place of of our own imperfection it's like if you can't pay your debt then someone pays the debt on your behalf that's kind of where jesus christ came into the picture and so by his death and ransom sacrifice we now have the ability to serve god and be saved so i think that's where i'll come to an end on this first episode of the who is jesus christ series if you like it then i would appreciate it if you click the like button and also the subscribe button and be sure to click the notification bell because we're going to be having more of such videos in this series and i don't want you to miss any of them anyway have a good day and i'll see you in the next video